Hey there guys, wandering back with another figure review. This is on the McFarlane Movie Maniacs Halloween, Michael Myers. Uh, I've had this figure for a uh, few months. Never opened it because I didn't really want to. Because I like the uh, NECA versions a lot more than this one. But the figure is okay. I'll go over to the back. You could see the other figures available pumpkin head we already covered uh i want the ghost face used to have ozzy he uh even though that one's not really in the series but i used to have ozzy uh, i don't know what happened to him lost him over the years the crow i would rather have the neck version just like this i'd rather have the neck and neck version but couldn't afford it so i bought what i could afford at the time so i'll be right back guys with this figure opened up Okay, guys, so I'm back. The figure is opened up. He is a little bit better than I expected. I mean, I've had him for a long time, but never really looked at him. Wasn't a big fan of the figure, but opening him up, he does seem pretty good. Um, he does, yeah, I probably should have thought about that. He does fall. He has a weird uh, foot on mine. Stay. I'm not going to do a 360 on this one, just because of what you just saw. The figure is, um, okay with its accessories. Comes with the pumpkin. It, it's not movie accurate. Because, like, the NECA one was movie accurate. Uh, it should have a complete slice, not just a line. And straight line, not a curved line, going from the nose to the mouth to look like a knife. Which this one does not, and does not have a stem at the top. Don't like the pumpkin at all. For the display, uh, which I'm probably not going to be able to put on my shelf just because it's getting very full. Um, love the weathering. Poster looks good. For this figure here with articulation, articulation. Uh, my one arm right here is really stiff with the joint at the shoulder. Rotation here at the wrist. Now, this arm is really loaded with articulation. Even though there's kind of no point in having it. Rotation in the wrist. My shoulder joint works on this arm, even though I kind of wish it worked on this arm. Because there's no point in using it in this arm. And then there's swivel right there in the upper arm um ball jointed head which doesn't work all too good on mine i think it's a ball joint i saw some other guy use it kind of like a ball joint the feet as you can see my one foot is warped which kind of sucks so i have to pull out a neck stand put them on it there is articulation in the waist there we go yeah mine was very stiff with all the articulation just kind of fix that <clears throat> so recommendation on this figure um d don't get it unless you're a big mcfarlane collector uh, i paid i believe around 50 for it which is okay because i know other people are selling it for about 80 to 100 possibly in the same range that i have mine in but i don't know i just I don't know if it's just me with McFarlane, or if I just don't like the figure. I'm not really a big fan of McFarlane. Uh, I do like the pumpkin head a little bit, but it's not movie accurate, and, you know, I only bought it because there were only two pumpkin head figures ever made, so I was like, I might as well get the second one. But, um, uh, rating on this, looking at the Michael alone, I'd probably give it a six, but since it comes with everything else, just the pumpkin really throws me off. And also for the accessory, I actually didn't show you that. I just remembered. Look at that handle. That is terrible. That is just horrible. I don't know what they were thinking. So, I mean, just for the accessories, I'm giving it a 3. You know, which is, in my opinion, very generous to this figure. But, you know, Michael's movie accurate. Pumpkin isn't. The knife is not. In the stand is fine it's a normal mcfarland stand so anyway guys remember to like favorite share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later